Yo guys, so before the video starts, I just wanted to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, my longtime friends over at Adam and Eve. We are partnering up today to give my audience a special deal, 50% off an item of your choice, plus free shipping when you check out with code JAMARI. That's J-A-M-A-R-I, JAMARI. There is no minimum purchase required, and who doesn't love free Woohoo! shipping? They have stuff for men, they have stuff for women, they have stuff for couples, and everyone on the spectrum. So treat yourself as someone special today with Adam and Eve using code JAMARI. So the other day I made this video about this absolutely disgusting TikTok couple. There was this guy who appeared to be around 25 years old and he was literally dating the crept keeper. I mean, this woman looks like an albino grape that got left in the sun way too long. The way these two met was that her son was apparently his former boss, and I guess she would be coming into work, he thought she was looking really good, and so he started hitting that on the side while making these TikTok and OnlyFan videos if you guys get my drift. I mean, seriously guys, with the invention of the internet, I think that people have to see things that they really shouldn't have ever had to see in their life, and I feel like this relationship is one of those things. Things. The pair bonded She's due to back. the mutual love of TikTok. What was this? What is this, man? Pair bonded due to their mutual love of TikTok. Grammy, stop hitting on your great grandson. <laughs> but undeterred by the internet, you trials, gotta love it. Cheryl and Karan mm -hmm. recently tied the knot. What's she saying? Yes. We got married. The water was running beside us. It was very deep. This is the craziest scene I've ever witnessed. Why is his he got married, beard the water was running beside dyed us. blonde? He's very beautiful. This seems like some get out type situation to me. I'm just gonna say it right now. Now they want to grow their family and have children. I'm still a mom. It never stops. So why shouldn't I have another child? And they are fine. They want to grow their family now. This woman and her catcher's mitt and her ovaries are about 200 years old. I mean, come on, man. She looks like she crawled out the tomb. We had a baby. Do you think it would be a problem? That's crazy, man. Cheryl's about old as shit. She's like, what do you mean a baby? We had a baby. Do you think it would be a problem? Wow. You see that? He's eyeing her next. Okay, he knows that the other one don't got many years. When Karan proposed to Cheryl, I proposed our guy, to my they made our it very guy. special my TikTok fans because they donated over $3,000 on Cheryl's ring in one day. Wow. So I was nervous due to the fact that I'm gonna propose to her. I looked at her and he you know guys, fundraising on TikTok is actually insane. It just really shows how many adults are actually on TikTok as people are making bank from donations. I know y'all see those guys running around giving out like $500 every single day, dancing with the people, they always play that cheesy music in the background. You gotta love it guys, it warms my heart. So I dropped down, I was like, will you marry me? And then she was like, yes. I mean, good for them, guys. Round of applause. Round of applause. The waiter's probably like, oh, someone's getting engaged. I love weddings. Who's the lovely couple? Oh! Oh, yeah. Show that off. He got that Claire special, baby. Yes, sir. Originally, me and Cheryl planned to keep the wedding private because we were getting a lot of hate at the time of us making TikToks about our wedding. I mean, they couldn't have been getting that much hate. They just paid them $3,000 for that Claire's ring. We're saying we're faking it. It's not real. They're not really going to get married. So we just decided we're going to stay off social media until the wedding. And we wasn't going to give it. Then the day of the wedding, she was like, hey, let's go live. Let's give them the wedding. We've been See, that's their exact problem. You just can't tell me they're not cloud chasing when they're out here saying that they want a baby and she's 61 years old. And when we did, we had over 20,000 viewers. Damn. That's tight. <laughs> People need to get a life and stop trying to take mine away from me. <laughs> Grammy, stop hitting on your great grandson. What's weird to you is normal to us. Oh, she was there. It just makes my skin crawl. Now these newlyweds want to start a family together, but this has come with complications due to Cheryl's age. We're well, going no to shit. go to see some baby clothes in a nursery. 
You know, there's a reason that in my 25 years on this earth, I've never seen a pregnant 61 year old woman. Biologically, that just doesn't happen. We are looking for a surrogate mother or adoption. My grandkids love Quran. They already call him Papa. So this is apparently her only kid that's actually on board with this relationship. You know, she already has gray hairs and this woman's still talking about taking care of another baby. If we had a baby, do you think it would be a problem? No, it wouldn't be a problem. Why would you enable these people? I mean, the look on her face really says it all. Like, what the fuck is going on with my mom? The heart falls in love with who the heart falls in love with. It sees no age, it sees no color, it sees nothing but love. I mean, hey guys, at this point, I guess it's more power to them. The only thing I think is kind of whack is that they're always trying to play the victim even after they're constantly feeding the trolls. But let me know what you guys think about this age gap relationship down below. How do you feel about her saying that they're trying to have a baby? And would you ever date someone almost three times your age? As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing today, dropping a like. But as you guys know, it's been your boy the Tan Superman and some of the messed up couples out here need to get covered so I'm out. Peace!